I have the same file open in Photoshop and in Illustrator. You can see here that they are both at 100%. That's a small file. Let's look at this file in Photoshop first. Looks OK. As soon as I start to zoom in, however, it starts to lose some of its clarity and definition. That's because this is a very small file, and as I zoom in, I'm now at 400%, it starts to pixelate. And you can see here that this bluish base color here is really pixelating badly, and that's why when you zoom right in, you can see that it's actually different shades of blue, and that's why sometimes it can be frustrating when you replace a color with another one, or you use the magic selection tool or one of the other tools to replace one color with another, and sometimes bits of the, the, the color or the shape that you're trying to replace, the color doesn't take. And that's because this pixel information isn't uniform. Now Photoshop and Illustrator are both Adobe products, so it makes sense that the shortcuts are the same. So hold the spacebar down when you're using any tool at all to bring up the hand grabbing tool. You can see I'm on the zoom tool, spacebar, and I can move things around. And the other good one to know is Control-0. Control-0 fills the screen. Control-1 takes it to 100%. Having a look at this exact same file in Illustrator, I'll use the Zoom tool to zoom in. And this time you'll see though, as I zoom, there is no distortion or pixelation. That's because this shape was made using Illustrator. Now to get the Photoshop version, I just saved it as a JPEG. But because this is a Illustrator file, it's made up of various different lines, shapes, paths, anchors. As I zoom in, there is no loss of information because this is a program that doesn't use pixels. If I zoom right into there, you can see that the definition, even at 64,000%, is, is fine. It's still very crisp. Control-0. Control 1. I'll go back to Control 0 to fill the screen. If I use the direct selection tool, you'll see that when the person made this file, they drew various shapes. They filled them with different colors. So this was filled with blue. So if I was to choose red, of course, that will change. And they decided which bits were going to be at the front and which bits were going to be at the back. So the main thing to know is, and I'll just undo that, Control Z, the main thing to be aware of is Photoshop uses pixels and pixels are a raster image, whereas Illustrator uses paths, anchors, and it's a vector image program. So Illustrator, the vector image program, is the one we're going to be looking at in this series of tutorials.